Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Luke Bryan with one margarita. Ben Merritt hanging with you here on your Monday. Boop, 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 boop. I know I can make all these loud noises because you're not hungover today. No, because Fargo celebrated St. Patrick's Day on Saturday. Unless, of course, you double dipped. Because then... Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> oh, man. It was a big night on Saturday. I was busy. I was at Gunderson's. Then I went to the FM Crusaders bike show. And then I was downtown doing all that. <sighs> Thankfully, on Sunday, I didn't do anything. Didn't do a darn thing. I cooked dinner in the slow cooker, so I didn't even have to worry about that. Took the dog out a couple of times, and I was watching the uh, old X-Men animated show because the new one starts on the 20th. So I'm pretty excited about that. So, because I'm a nerd. Hey, we got your country quickies coming up in about eight minutes. Some new music on the way from a couple of really big names, Mr. Kenny Chesney and possibly Morgan Wallen as well, too, with more new music. Yes, please. We'll talk about that coming up in about eight minutes. It's a Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Brett Young coming to the Ralph with Sam Hunt this weekend. Hannah's got your hookup all week. Be listening for those keywords. But we're not here to talk about that because that's Hannah's hookup, not Ben's hookup. My hookup is telling you all about new country music. As a matter of fact, if this man hadn't released like dozens of albums already, you'd think that he doesn't understand how to hold on to music for when the album comes out. Kenny Chesney's put out another clip of another song off of Born, which is out on Friday. Here it is. We're flesh and bone and beams of light. A body breaks, a soul takes flight. And faith is left to heal what tears can't touch. You're not gone, just out of sight. You're here with me. The name of that track is Wherever You Are Tonight, and eventually, like I said, you've probably got the whole album now, so I'm excited to see what is on the album that we haven't heard yet when it comes out on Friday. And more new music possibly on the way for Mr. Morgan Wallen. He released this clip. It's called Redneck. And the reason why we're saying possibly for Morgan Wallen putting something out is because it was just two weeks ago that he surprise dropped the Abbey Road session. So more music from Morgan Wallen already. That would be a fast turnaround. And I think most of us are still here for it, though. Here's Hardy, though. I woke up. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Tyler Hubbard back then right now. He'll be opening up for this guy when they come to Grand Forks. Plus, I got shower thoughts coming up in eight minutes. Very me. Shower thoughts with Ben. Octopuses are just wet spiders and sloths are just slow lemurs. Do you think stuffed animals get anxiety when they watch us eat gummy bears? Maybe Earth is the universe's version of a farm, and humans are just the crops. The mind is the only place where it's okay to be crowded. Shower thoughts with Ben. So you'll start with... Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. Chase Beckham, he'll be in Fargo this spring, technically, I guess. It's still technically spring at that point in time. But anyway, it is Ben Merritt, and it's time for your Froggy Text Club question of the day, brought to you by the College Safe Program, thanks to the Bank of North Dakota. Question for today is, what's something that you didn't realize was going to consume so much of your time as an adult? So growing up, you're looking at your parents and they, they just get, they got it all together. They're like, oh yeah, that's not a problem. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. And then you become an adult and you're like, oh my God, this is such a problem. One of the things that is in my mind is food. Now, don't laugh at me. I am a bigger guy, but it's not like that. I'm not always thinking about food. I'm always thinking about how I can make my food better. I just recently 
got back into cooking. Uh, I made a pork roast over the weekend, so super excited about that. But, like, coming up with ideas for, like, when and where and what. It's just so, so much. 35270, what's that thing that's all-consuming that you didn't expect it to be in as adult? Here's Bailey Zimmerman now on Froggy. We've been swimming. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Kenny Chesney and I go back. It's a new album out on Friday called Born. Pretty excited about that. Uh, text club question of the day today brought to you by the College State Program from the Bank of North Dakota. What's something you didn't realize was going to be so consuming of your time as an adult? Again, watching your parents when you're growing up, you're like, that's fine. My dad cooked a lot. My stepmom cooked a lot. My mom cooks a lot. So therefore, I didn't think food was going to be that big a deal. Turns out it's a huge deal. <laughs> so you guys have been texting in. Uh, somebody, even here in the Fargo-Moorhead area, said commuting. I guess, technically, somebody else said waiting at traffic lights. You put those two together here in the FM area, yes, I will agree to that. Your commute can get terrible if you get off of the rhythm of the green lights here in town. I will agree to that one. So, uh, Another person texted in, cleaning or doing the dishes. Yes, dishes is my least least favorite chore i hate doing it so i would rather do four loads of laundry than one load of dishes oh my god text day 35 270 what's something you didn't realize was going to consume so much of your time as an adult here's jelly roll i'm a county froggy 99.9 plays the most country that's mr randy hauser right there and how country feels it is your froggy text club question of the day Brought to you by the College Safe Program from the Bank of North Dakota. What's something that you didn't realize was going to consume so much of your time as an adult? A lot of people agreeing with me that cooking and preparing and planning for food, especially if you have families, a lot of parents are chiming in with what my kids eat. The best part about it is some of them are very narrow. Chicken nuggies and mashed taters and mac and cheese. That's what a lot of... <laughs> uh, some people need to figure out that work-life balance because a lot of people are saying, thinking about work when I'm not at work. Knock it off. If I got boopy on the head, I would. Just quit it. Knock it off. I like this one, which is probably falls under the category of work as well, too. They said, explaining how to adult to other adults. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless, of course, you're like a college professor at like NDSU or MSUM or Concordia. Yeah, it's not your job to teach adults how to adult. So anyway, again, thanks everybody for chiming in on that one, which was what is something that you didn't think was going to be so time consuming when you were growing up when you became an adult. Appreciate everyone's thoughts on this. It is the Froggy Text Club question of the day brought to you by College Safe Program at Bank of North Dakota. Here you go with Parker McCollum right now. Let's burn it down on Froggy 99.9. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. Jordan Davis in Tucson too late. Tell me something good on the way. You don't see those old school parking meters that you put money in directly too much anymore. Well, some of them are being refurbished and used for nonprofits. We'll talk about it coming up. Find you, girl. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Garth Brooks and Ronnie Dunn with Rodeo Man. It's time to tell you something good. There are some of those old school parking meters in Lynchburg, Virginia, that have been refurbished to help local charities. Since 2020, 10 of these lime green parking meters can be found around the city collecting pocket change to dole out to local charities. There's a local organization, Change for Change Caring Meters, Instead of parking meters, they collect the change and help others. Again, it's been founded and inspired by a small town in Char Charlottetown, 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 Canada. They probably call it Charlottetown. Um, using the meters to help others in need as well, too. In so far in their efforts, they have raised about thirty-two thousand dollars to distribute to small and local charities chosen by a committee a committee of community members. Honestly, I think a lot of people would be welcoming that here in the Fargo-Moorhead area. So if there's somebody out there who's got a bunch of those old parking meters, there's a good chance paint them bright yellow and we could be in business, well, in charity again. <laughs>
Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That is Thomas Rhett and Morgan Wallen with Mamaw's House. Hey, you want to go to lunch? You want the wake-up call to pay for it? Well, then you need to be texting the word SPIKE, S-P-I-K-E, to 35270, and they'll take you out to the Silver Spike, or Midtown, M-I-D-T-O-W-N, to 35270. And they'll take you to the Midtown Tavern. One or the other, and they'll be taking you out to lunch Wednesday or Thursday, and they'll cover it. So again, head on over to froggyweb.com for all the details on both of those lunches, or text Spike or Midtown to 35270 to sign up there as well. It's Jelly Roll right now on Froggy. I never get Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. Blake Shelton coming to the Red River Valley Fair. Pretty stoked about that one. Dad jokes coming up in eight minutes. Pretty stoked about that too. I've been on. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That is Zach Brown Band and colder weather only for a little while. We'll get warmer here pretty soon, but <laughs> that one was a double dad joke on the weather and the song. You know you loved it. Let's do some dad jokes, shall we? Did you hear about the guy who invented lifesavers? They say he made a mint. <laughs> What about the kidnapping at the park? Did you hear about that? Don't worry. They woke him up. (laughs) It's terrible. That one was so bad. (laughs) Hey, what's the difference between a poorly dressed man on a tricycle and a well-dressed man on a bicycle? A tire. And finally, my friend told me that he doesn't understand cloning. I told him that makes two of us. You got to think about some of these ones. Dad jokes or thinkers? Just fair warning. It's Morgan Wallen and Eric Church now on Froggy. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. There you go. I can feel it. That's Kane Brown. Don't forget, head on over to froggyweb.com and get your voting in for Mutt Madness. Maybe your pooch didn't make it to the final 32, but you can still vote for the cutest dog in the Fargo-Moorhead area. And that dog is going to walk away with an amazing prize package from Homeward Animal Shelter and Elevate Canine Academy as well, too. So get your two cents heard and make sure that you get your voting in because we narrow it down coming up here pretty soon. So make sure that froggyweb.com is where you go and vote for the best pooches in the river, the Red River Valley. There you go. Morgan Wallen right now. It's everything I know on Froggy 99.9. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. Carrie Underwood, the American Idol, with Blown Away. We have got some random facts to blow your socks off here on a Monday afternoon. But before we get to that, in eight minutes, it's Bailey Zimmerman. This is where it ends. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Montgomery Gentry with something to be proud of. Time for some random facts. Monday afternoon, so let's learn you something, shall we? The song You're the Best from The Karate Kid was actually originally written for Rocky III, but the producers went with Eye of the Tiger instead. And to be honest, both songs became iconic in their respective movies. So it's a win-win. It's just a win-win all around. I just want to let you know that that there aren't just blue collar and white collar workers. There are other colors too. The red color is for government workers and green collar are for those who work in jobs that are good for the environment, you know, like a DNR officer or uh, someone who is in like the forestry department or something like that. So those are green collar workers. And finally, Woodstock was Crosby, Stills, and Nash's second time performing on stage together. That's it. They played at one of the biggest events ever. The first time was actually the night before that. Neil Young was also with them, but it refused to be filmed for the cameras. I've seen it now. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Old Dominion and Megan Maroney. Can't break up now. Nashville now coming up in eight minutes. What connects a guitar legend, a modern era icon, and a veteran of country tunes? The answer will strike a chord in the heart of every country music fan in eight minutes. But first, it's Dan and Shay. I can tell by Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That is John Party and Luke Bryan, Cowboys and Plowboys. It's your Nashville now. And it's awful fitting that we 
came out of that song into this because Country Music Hall of Fame is rolling out the red carpet again, and this time it's for a trio of talent that's as diverse as it is deserving. From the chicken picking prowess, and yes, that is the style of guitar playing that James Burton is known for. Uh, to the modern Aaron melodies of the late great Mr. Toby Keith and the timeless tunes of the man that created or co-created the Music Mafia alongside big and rich cowboy Troy Gretchen Wilson. That is Mr. John Anderson. That is the class of 2024. Looking pretty stellar, if you ask me. Toby Keith got his gold bucket or his golden ticket, excuse me, to the hull literally hours after losing his battle with stomach cancer adding a bittersweet note to his celebration. Meanwhile, James Burton, Telecaster is probably still reeling from the news. Uh, if guitars could talk, what a tale that would tell as well, too. So if you didn't know, there's always a musician. There's a modern era musician, which is what Toby Keith, and then there's a veteran, which is where Jan, uh, John Anderson falls under that category. So there you go. Your Country Music Hall of Fame inductees for 2024. Froggy 99.9 plays the most country. That's Hardy Truck Ben wrapping it up for today. A Monday in the books. <sighs> Don't forget, so much is going on still. All the lunches that you can win, Silver Spike and Midtown Tavern. Text the word SPIKE to 35270 or text the word T MIDTOWN to 35270. Plus, tomorrow, Hannah still got your Sam Hunt hookup. Make sure that you're listening for those keywords at 10, noon, and 2 to get you to Sam Hunt's show this Saturday at the Ralph. Uh, so be ready to clear your schedule because those tickets, we're going to award the winners on Friday. So be ready uh, to just drop everything and go to the show on Saturday. So uh, let's see what else. Wake Up Calls back at it again tomorrow morning at 6. I am back tomorrow at 3. PJ is in right now until midnight. Other than that, have yourself a great rest of your evening. Here's Morgan. Bye. Yeah, I've been